Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to a new tutorial. This time, I'm going to show you how to join a session on Govern like in attendee. Whether you're joining from your computer or mobile device, I will walk you through everything you need to know. By the end of this tutorial, you will be ready to participate with ease in any Govern event. So, let's go! First, I'm going to show you from the computer view when you join a room in Govern. To start, we go in here to the browser bar and we paste the link from the room that you want to join and we click enter. There it goes! Now you can enter by tapping your name or by logging with your Gmail or LinkedIn account. But in this time, I'm just going to type a name and you click let's go. You have to choose your avatar picture. You can choose one from Governage or you can upload one from your computer. Right now I'm going to choose this one and we click on this is me. Perfect, now you will see this pop-up. That means that Governage wants access to your microphone and camera. So we're gonna click on allow. Perfect. Here you can test your mic, your speakers, and camera. If you see this line moving, that means that your microphone is working. And you will hear some echo while you're talking. So like that, you can test your mic. Let's check it out together. Hello. One, two, three. Hello. Nice, it's working well. And here you can use your camera. I'm gonna choose this one. Perfect. If you see here yourself, that means that your camera is working well. And if everything is working, now we can click on I'm ready. Perfect. And after everything is set, you will join this room automatically. And if you like to change your seat, you just have to click in any other circles like this. There it goes. And like that, you can move around and choose another seat inside the room. You will see this panel with some options. Depending what the organizer has enabled for the attendees, you will see some options here, like your microphone, circle cam, presenter cam, share, my view, and all rooms. Let's check it out together, all these options. Here, you can turn on and turn off your microphone. There it goes. Now I can turn it off. And here I can turn on and off my circle cam. Let's check it out. Perfect, here I am. Hello. <laughs> here I can turn it off again. This one I can turn on my presenter cam. There it goes. I can move around the presenter cam. I can resize the corners and place it in any part of the room. And here I can turn it off again my presenter cam. Perfect, now let's check it out, the share option. Here you can share your screen, you can play YouTube video, you can download files, or upload files if the organizers has enabled that. And share the link from this room. On my view, you will see some options like changing the view mode from dynamic to presentation mode, reconnecting to the room, refreshing the page. You can mute this room if you don't want to hear any sound from this room. This is really nice when you want to be in two rooms at the same time. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna show you that. Here you can do some reactions, files, GIF reactions too, and you can see your profile in the same room to change your name or your avatar picture. And here we have the all rooms. Here, you will see this panel that will show you the all rooms that are in the same space. In this space, we have a lobby, an office, a co-working space. But if you want to join a room, but you want to be in the main room at the same time, this is what I'm gonna show you. This tip is really amazing. So, I'm gonna copy the link from the main room, and for not losing it, I'm gonna paste it in my notes. Then I'm going to choose one of the rooms that I want to join. I choose this one. Now I'm gonna open a new tab in my window. I'm gonna go back to my notes. I'm gonna copy my link and I'm gonna paste it right here in my browser address bar. And I'm going to click enter. And there it goes. Like this, I'm gonna be in two rooms at the same time. I am in the principal room 
and I am in the office room but if you want to mute one of the room because you want to be talking in another room you don't want to be people like hearing you or don't want to be disturbing by the sound from the other room well we're going to go to the main room if you want to mute this one I'm gonna go my view then room sound and like this you're going to mute this room be aware that your microphone is off too in the room that you mute so people won't hear you when you're talking in the other room all right a feature that i want to show you that is really cool here in Goverse, you can react with gif so let's check it out together if you want to react with the gif you can click on your avatar and you can click here gif option and here you can search or look for any gif that you would like let's choose this one from here and there we go now you can react with a GIF. And something really nice is that you can send GIF to another attendees in the same room. For example, I can click on Alex avatar. You will see here the GIF option. I will click there. I'm going to choose this one. And like this, I'm going to send a GIF to Alex or to any attendee that you choose in the same room. This is amazing to have more engagement with the attendees and the people that are in the same session or event. Now, if the organizer or someone is sharing the screen, here you are right now in the dynamic mode. You can move around your screen, you can resize the corners, and you can place it in any part of the room like this but if you want to see everything in full screen you can click here enter presentation mode and like this you can see everything in full screen if you want to go back to the room you just have to scroll down and you will see the room that you're in and to scroll up you can see again the screen share in full screen here in the right you will see a panel that is the chat here you can interact with other attendees inside the room so you can write to them, say hi, share something that you would like, you can use the chat. But if you want to hide the chat and see everything more bigger, you can do it just clicking here in this bubble chat. And like this, you can hide it and you will see everything more big. Want to go back or see the chat again, you just click here, this bubble chat again. If you want to go back to the dynamic mode, you can go here up right in the corner you will see this bubble that says switch to dynamic mode you click here and there it goes you will be back to the dynamic mode perfect so if you want to leave the room or you want to leave the event you have two ways to do it first way you can go here to this door that is next to the room name that is say exit this room the second option is just closing the tab when you close the tab from the room that you are then you will be leaving automatically the room too this is the two ways that you have to leaving an event or a session inside Goverge. All right, now I'm gonna show you from your mobile device view. Depending on where you're accessing Goverge, some apps will offer limited options for video conferencing. The best way is to copy the link and paste in your browser. Depending on your device, for iOS is Safari and Chrome, and for Android is Chrome. In this time, I'm gonna show you from an iPhone, so we're going to paste the link from the room that you want to join in Safari. Now you have to follow similar steps as on the computer view like I showed you before. Choose your joining method and choose your avatar. Allow coverage access to your mic and camera. Right now we are in the portrait orientation. This is a driving mode. Here you can see the participants, you can see the screen share or the presenter cams. And for using the chat, this orientation is more comfortable. Let you see, you will see the background in black that is normal in the portrait mode. We're going to flip the phone to the landscape mode. Here you can see the screen share and the presenter cams at the top. And you sweep down, you will see the full room view with the background too and you will see some options like the panel in the computer view here you can turn on and turn off your microphone your circle cam your presenter cam you will see some options let's check it out turning on the circle cam 
There I am. <laughs> Perfect and the art rooms option is available on portrait and landscape mode. Here you can see the panel with all the rooms inside the space. In this time, we're going to join the co-working space. And if you want to change your seat, you just have to click in another circles and move around. And something really cool, now on mobile, we have the feature for using GIF reactions. You just have to click on your avatar and you will see a zoom in. So you have to click again on your avatar and the phone will do a zoom out automatically. Then you can click on the GIF option. After that, you have to look for the GIF that you like. And there it goes. Like that, you can use the GIF reactions on your mobile. And for leaving the room or the session, it's the same for your computer. You can do it by the door icon that is next to the room name or just closing the tab in the browser from your phone. Nice! Now you're ready to join or navigate your next sessions in Goverge. And if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends or your teammates. If you have any questions or want to learn more, feel free to reach out or write to us in the comments below. See you in the next video. Bye.